ています。Role of Ultrasonogram in Chest Disease Part 1 Presented by Dr. Jill Mohsin Udin Assistant Professor NIDCH, Mohakali, Dhaka Index Aims of this presentation Slide 4 Introduction Slide 5 Advantages of USG of Chest Slide 10 Indication of Chest USG Slide 11 Chest USG Approach Slide 12 Probe Selection Slide 6 Artifacts Seen During USG of Chest Slide 24-41 What Makes Me Happy? Diagnostic ultrasonography is the only clinical imaging technology currently used that does not depend on electromagnetic radiation. Aims of this presentation to understand the basic principles and practical application of transthoracic ultrasound. To be familiar with the sonographic appearance of the normal thorax. To develop the skill to identify basic thoracic pathology. To know about the utilization of ultrasound as guidance for transthoracic diagnostic and therapeutic interventions. Introduction. Traditionally, air has been considered the enemy of ultrasound and the lung has been considered an organ not amenable to ultrasonography examination. For many years transthoracic ultrasound was limited exclusively to the examination of pleural effusions. However, over the past few years, ultrasonography of the pleural space and lung puenchyma is gaining a wide consensus in different conditions in routine clinical practice and even in emergency conditions. Introduction Kant Lung ultrasound LU can be performed quickly and easily in critically ill patients. It has higher diagnostic accuracy than physical examination and chest radiography combined. It enhances safety by avoiding ionizing radiation and the need for potentially dangerous transfers within the hospital. Introduction Kant CT scan is the gold standard in the evaluation of chest diseases but current estimates indicate that a single CT scan exposure will result in a lethal malignant transformation of at least one in every 10,000 patients or greater. Not only radiation hazard but also it is expensive, not available within the intensive care unit, sometimes may be potentially dangerous transport to the radiology department. Introduction Kant Chest ultrasonography, therefore, is the most important alternative to CT scan in different respiratory situations. It offers accurate information that is diagnostic and therapeutic relevance. Comparing CT scan and USG view. Introduction Kant. Thoracic application of ultrasonography can be broadly divided into lung and pleural imaging. It is increasingly inexcusable not to use ultrasonography in chest. Therefore it appears inevitable that ultrasonography will become established in the standard curriculum of pulmonary training. Thoracic anatomy, longitudinal view acquired with linear probe P, and schematic representation C, there is a good anatomical definition of the pleural hyperechoic reflection, pleural line, C, between the two ribs, C, 1, and their shadow cone artifacts, C, 2. They outline an area of subpleural pulmonary artifacts, C, 3. The cutaneous, C, 4, subcutaneous, C, 5, and muscular planes, C, 6, are well represented. Advantages of USG of chest. Immediate bedside availability and repeatability. Cost effective. No radiation hazard. Detects and localizes pathology. USG guided intervention like aspiration, drainage, FNA, biopsy, thoracoscopy can be performed. Localization of mass lesion for FNA, arrow indicate needle. Indications of chest USG. A diagnostic. Evaluation of diseases of the following structures. I plural example. Effusion, pneumothorax, 
thickening, mass lesion etc. 2. Lung Puenkimu example. Consolidation, peripheral mass lesion, evidence of areas of necrosis, abscess, evaluation of lung collapse, pulmonary edema or interstitial lung disease. Lung abscess, empyma, floating materials within the fluid. Indications of chest USG, diagnostic dotkent. 3. Mediastinum example. Pericardial effusion, lymphadenopathy and other mediastinal mass. 4. Diaphragm example. Position, morphology, thickness and movement of diaphragm. V chest wall example. Musculoskeletal, subcutaneous structures. Ovoid shape slight inhomogeneous hypochoic tumor surrounded by ventilated lung, right parastinal approach of thymoma. B and C, cystic lesion with floating echoes, thin walls, and small hypochoic solid component, cystic thymoma adjacent to the pulmonary trunk and left pulmonary artery. Indications of chest USG kent. B, therapeutic and diagnostic intervention. Diagnostic thoracocentesis. Pleural or lung or mediastinal mass biopsy or FNR. Therapeutic drainage of symptomatic pleural effusions. Catheter drainage of pleural collections. Pleural sclerotherapy, pleurodesis. USG guided thoracocentesis. Chest USG approach. Supra, transternal. Parasternal. Intercostal. Transdiaphragmatic. Subxiphoid. Subcostal. Plane of chest USG. 1. Sagittal. 2. Transverse. Regions of chest USG. 1 and 2 anterior upper and lower. 3 and 4 lateral, upper and lower. 5 and 6 posterior upper and lower. Half of the chest area is divided by three vertical lines parasternal line, PSL, anterior axillary line, AOL, posterior axillary line, PAL. Probe select. Probe selection and technique vary depending on clinical suspicion and circumstance, example distance of lesion from chest wall. Type of ultrasonogram probe. Ultrasonogrammed machines have either a linear, vascular access probe, curvilinear, abdominal probe, or phased array, echo probe. A great advantage of lung ultrasonogram is that useful images can be obtained with each of these. Each probe has pros and cons. Linear probe, 8 to 12 megahertz. These high frequency probes give good resolution of superficial structures. As the anterior pleura is relatively superficial, excellent images of the pleura and lung sliding can be obtained. The poor penetration of high frequency ultrasonogram and the narrow sector width mean deeper structures are poorly imaged. Lung sliding movement seen by linear probe. Curvilinear probe, 3 to 5 mHA. This is the best all-round probe for lung ultrasound. Lung sliding can be easily visualized as can interstitial syndrome or alveolar interstitial syndrome, AIS. Effusions, consolidated lung, and the diaphragm are also well imaged because of the good penetration and large sector width. The large footprint of the probe may need some angulation to avoid the ribs when scanning posterolaterally. Various views in curvilinear probe. Visualization of diaphragm. Lung sliding. Short note, interstitial syndrome, alveolar interstitial syndrome, AIS. The interstitial syndrome is a condition where alveolar air is impaired due to increase of fluids in the interstitium, but some lung aeration is still preserved as opposed to a condition of complete consolidation of the lung. Example, cardiogenic pulmonary edema, ARDS, interstitial pneumonia. Alveolar interstitial syndrome, AIS, is defined as the presence of one or the combination of ground glass opacities, consolidation, reticulation, and septal thickening. Phased array, 
3 to 4.5 MHz. These probes have a useful footprint for getting in between the ribs. They can be used to demonstrate all the signs of lung ultrasound but the clarity of the images is not as good. Artifacts seen during ultrasonography of chest. Structures below the pleura in an air-filled lung cannot be visualized, only artifacts will be seen. Lung ultrasound relies on the interpretation of artifacts in conditions where the lung is predominantly aerated. These artifacts will vary depending on the ratio of air and fluid. If the lung is highly fluid filled, then it can be directly visualized. Pneumothorax consists of only air below the parietal pleura while a pleural effusion is only fluid. There is a range between these two extremes of normal lung, 98% air, interstitial syndrome, 95% air, alveolar syndrome, 10% air, and atelectasis, 5% air, all with different ultrasonogram appearances ranging from specific artifacts to true structure visualization. And it is important to remember that because of gravity, fluid is usually tends to accumulate in dependent and air in non-dependent part. Pleural line. A probe placed in contact with the chest wall over a healthy lung reveals the pleural line, a hyperreflective line lying beyond the tissues of the chest wall that constitutes the interface between body tissue and air. Arrows indicate a transverse hyperechoic artifact just deep to the chest wall, a finding that represents the pleural line. The pleural line is where lung sliding occurs at real-time imaging. This line is an important landmark for identifying other artifacts because most artifacts arise from or below this line. Chest Ultrasonogram Terminology Terminology for thoracic ultrasound provides a description of a number of sonographic artifacts caused by air tissue interfaces in B mode. A line, B line, E line, Z line, lung sliding, lung pulse, lung point. Short note, B mode or 2D mode. In B mode, brightness mode. Ultrasound, a linear array of transducers simultaneously scans a plane through the body that can be viewed as a two-dimensional image on screen. More commonly known as 2D mode now. A-line. Normal aerated lung shows the so-called A-lines, that is artifacts that appear as parallel, equidistant lines below the pleural line, horizontal artifacts, and which represent reverberations, echo, prolongation of sound, of the acoustic interface is situated above, mirror effect. B-line. B-lines, vertical artifacts, are artifacts that project in depth originating from the pleural line. The mixed density lung puenchyma causes reverberation artifact within the lung, giving rise to discrete laser like vertical hyperechoic artifacts that arise from the pleural line, extend to the bottom of the screen without fading. When several B lines visible, the term lung rockets is used. Example of B line The presence of a certain number of B lines is a signal of echographic interstitial syndrome and it can be assumed as an indication of pulmonary edema, pneumonia, lung contusion, ARDS, etc. This high frequency ultrasonogram was obtained from a patient with pulmonary edema with pleural effusion. Example of B line Chest ultrasonography and computed tomography findings. A high resolution computed tomography, HRCT, chest showed ground glass opacity. B ultrasound of the same patient showed diffuse B lines with a narrow distance between them about 3 mm, C, HRCT of the chest showed suppleural reticulation with honeycombing and, D, ultrasound of the same patient showed diffuse B lines with a wide distance between them, about 7 mm. E line. E lines are comet tail artifact slash vertical lines can be seen superficial to pleural line. These sonographic artifacts can be confused with B lines. E lines E stands for subcutaneous emphysema. E lines are vertical lines seen when there is gas trapped in the subcutaneous space. These lines do not arise from the pleural line, 
but from the subcutaneous tissue, they are not synchronous with respiratory movements. E lines are well defined and also erase A lines, and may therefore be mistaken for true B lines. E line. E lines. Subcutaneous emphysema generates lines, E lines, which arise from the superficial gas, not from the pleural line. Z line. Z lines are common artifacts seen in more than 80% of the population and may be mistaken for coalescent B lines. Z lines are vertical, bundle like shaped lines arising from the pleural line, they are ill defined, do not erase A lines and are not perfectly synchronous with respiratory movements. Lung sliding slash lung gliding. The sonographic effect of lung sliding is created by movement of the lung relative to the chest wall during respiration. The sonographic appearance is that of a thin, bright line moving horizontally along the pleural line with a wave-like pattern located above, towards the chest wall, and a granular pattern below. Lung sliding. Lung sliding is an indirect sign indicating adherence of the visceral pleura to the parietal pleura. When air separates the two pleural layers as in a pneumothorax, the movement disappears. Lung pulse. The lung pulse is a vertical movement of the pleural line synchronous to the cardiac rhythm that is more commonly seen on the left hemithorax than the right. The lung pulse is caused by transmission of heartbeats through consolidated, motionless lung. Visualization of a lung pulse excludes a pneumothorax. Lung pulse. The lung pulse is a sign of complete atelectasis which is observable immediately before radiological changes. Its absence which is correlated with the absence of selective intubation and of conserved lung inflation can eliminate the need for confirmation radiography. Lung point. The lung point sign is a highly specific ultrasound sign of pneumothorax. It involves visualizing the point where the visceral pleura, lung, begins to separate from the parietal pleural, chest wall, at the margin of a pneumothorax. Blue arrow indicate lung point. The bat wing sign. The bat sign. Two ribs with posterior shadowing represents the wings of the bat, and the hyperechoic pleural line, its body. A sagittal scan at the upper intercostal space is depicting normal anatomy. Thank you. End of part minus one. Learning pulmonology. Role of ultrasonogram in chest disease. Part one.